In this problem, our goal is to <clears throat> simplify and rewrite with no negative exponents as our final answer. <clears throat> it looks a little intimidating at first, <clears throat> excuse me, but to start out, we can't do the multiplication before we take care of the powers. So again, using laws of exponents, when I raise powers to powers, I multiply, but keep in mind, this negative three is to the one power. So I have to raise negative three to the one and then raise it to the two power. And to do that, be careful because the negative along with the number three is your base. And one times two is two. X to the, again, multiplying the powers together and Y to the negative 14. Do the same thing here, the base is two. It's not quite as important to put the number two in parentheses because two in parentheses cubed is the same as just two cubed. Whereas where it was negative three, it is very important to put the negative with the three in parentheses here. Raise it to the power two. So when I come down to here, x multiply them together and the y. The y doesn't have a power, it appears, but it's really y to the one again, raised to the three. This looks a little scary, but when you raise anything, to the zero power, it's automatically going to be just the number one. So that took care of that whole term right there. Anything to the zero power is one. So now let's go back and do some simplifying here. I have negative three squared, x to the 10, y to the minus 14, two to the third, which is eight. All of this is multiplied together. X to the minus three, Y to the three. Now, you got a couple of different options here. I go ahead and start thinking about getting rid of negative exponents, but you could use the um, multiply like bases, add the exponents rule here as well. I'm gonna multiply nine times eight together first so I don't lose that. X to the 10, that's a positive exponent, it stays on top. Y to the minus 14, cross the line, change the sign of the exponent. X to the minus three, cross the line, change the sign of the exponent. Y to the positive three though, stays put. Positive exponents stick. Negative ones cross the line. And now you can start counting up. I have 10 X's on top written across, but I only have three on the bottom. So when you cancel an X for an X out, you're left with seven of those on the top. <clears throat> now I have three Y's on top, but I have 14 on the bottom. So I've got more of them on the bottom. And when I cancel, I'm left with 11 of them on the bottom. No more canceling going on because now these are different bases so I can't do any more canceling. Right, let's, try, um, let's try one more kind of big one here. Let's try um, negative two thirds x to the minus five, x to the minus four, and y to the seventh, y to the two. And I want to simplify that so that there are no negative exponents in my final answer. Um, you can, again, look at this as three separate little problems. Negative two-thirds can't reduce down. So I would leave that as negative two-thirds. The negative two stays put. Again, the power on two is one. And it's a positive exponent, so it does not cross the line, and you don't change the sign. That negative is part of the number two, negative two, it's not part of my exponent. Whereas x to the negative five is gonna cross the line. Change its sign to x to the positive five. x to the minus four, cross the line, move it up to the top, change the sign. And then y to the seventh stays put. It's a positive exponent already, so is y to the two. And now it's again, you can go back through and cancel. The negative two-thirds we already said didn't reduce. 
but we have four X's on the top, five of them across the bottom. That leaves us with one on the bottom when I cancel, seven Y's across the top, two Y's across the bottom. So when you cancel a Y for a Y out, you're going to have five of them left over on the top. And that would be your final answer. By the way, you don't have to put it as x to the 1. You can just write it as x. You don't need to write the power 1 in there. It's assumed to be 1 if it's not there.